you were gaming rules. You got wrong. Hey everyone, welcome to Rules You Got Wrong Warhammer Fantasy Edition. You know how it works, guys. I'm gonna go over comments from the last week's Warhammer Fantasy episodes. Uh, but rules I got wrong, and sometimes rules you got wrong. But we'll go from comment to comment and see what's what this week. So right on, Two Kings versus Demons, Old World Wars 161. We're starting off with Bloodshots. He says, Steve, some pointers for Two Kings. Chariots or Weapon Skill 3? Yeah, I played them as two. That's my bad. I just assumed they were two. I didn't even look. <laughs> That's a totally a mistake on my part. Tomb Guard Initiative 3. Again, I assumed, and you're right, they are Initiative 3. And their killing blow would have ignored the Beast of Nurgle's regeneration stage. No, it would not have. They are monstrous beasts, so they are immune to killing blow. Casket blows up and loses his last wound, affecting friend or foe within 12 and a 4 plus. Also forgot, forgot to reroll the ones for the Lord of Change against the ward save against the skeleton archers. Forgot to reroll the ones, you're right. Uh, the casket, I couldn't tell by looking. I thought everything was outside of 12 when it died. But um, either everything was far enough away or I just forgot. So I may have made a mistake, I mean, no, I'm not sure. Uh, Middle Earth Geek 9, sorry, 995? Middle Earth Geek 95. <laughs> Correct me if I'm not right, but each chariot has four attacks. Because each one of the soldiers has two attacks. Because each one of the soldiers has two attacks, so in conclusion, when shooting, the unit would have 24 shots. No, you're, you're, you don't make as many shots with your bow as you have attacks. You just make one shot with your bow. So it's two shots per chariot. That's it. Steve, when Colin dispelled your bound spell from the casket, he used seven dice. It was my understanding that you could only use a max of six. That max of six is only for casting. So no, he's totally fine to do that. Idiot proof Dalek says, Steve, if your archer block swiveled all the way around on their center, they are reforming, you are right. Which means they can't shoot, you are also right. You can wheel them four inches from outside corner and still shoot, you're right. Wah, but, it's, but that is not what you're doing. Pivoting is illegal. Oh, sorry, pivoting is legal in Kings of War, not Warhammer. Come play Kings of War. Yeah, so uh, this is the thing in the last battle report where I do it, where I'm 160 some odd episodes into Warhammer Fantasy, and I, I, kind of, I kind of thought pivoting, sorry, reforming, only prevented you from moving. I thought you could still shoot. So this is, I think this is the last episode where I make that mistake. I had to do a swift reform to be able to shoot. Yeah, so I should not be reforming my guys and shooting them. So yeah, I, I still make basic rule mistakes. Thanks for catching them though. Two Kings vs. Demons of Chaos, Warmer Fantasy Battle Report, episode 162. Bloodshot says, Tomb Guard, Toughness 4, they're beefy skeletons. I know, that's why I took them too, and I completely forgot their Toughness 4. That's I, I, my apologies, and I have no good excuse for it. <laughs> that's bad. Mordecai, can skeleton archers just pivot and shoot? Don't need to make a swift reform? Yes, sir. Mordecai, why couldn't Colton fire tanks from the back of the casket? Because on the straight line from where the cannon was, he couldn't see the spot where 10 inches was. You have to be able to see the spot you're declaring where you're gonna aim the first cannonball. You couldn't see it, so you couldn't declare a 10 inch from the back. It's kind of why I parked my guys there, kind of blocked that 10 inch from the back. Shenanigan. But yeah, you have to be able to see your spot. Uh, and oh, Ortwin says, Beasts of Nurgle are war beasts and have swift stride. Beasts of Nurgle are not war beasts, they are monstrous beasts. That's no, sorry, which, do I get swift stride? I looked that one up. I'm pretty sure they do. So yeah, um, you know, I'm gonna pause it and take a quick peek because maybe, maybe I'm wrong. Maybe they are war beasts and not monstrous beasts. Okay, so I had to double, double check. That. I had to double check that they are monstrous beasts to make sure I was correct. So yeah, they still had Swift Stride. I think we just they we we just forgot that uh, Swift Stride was in play at the point. But I had to go back and double check because maybe Bloodshot also thought they were war beasts, which means they would have been affected by killing blow. But no, they're monstrous beasts, so no killing blow. And yes, Swift Stride, which we forgot about. And that's it for this week's rules. You got wrong Warhammer Fantasy. Thanks for watching. Happy Wargaming.